Here's how to change the rear drum brakes on the 2005 Toyota Camry. Other years may be similar. First thing you do is pull this off. Sometimes it's corroded around here. You want to put some anti-seize stuff in there, but these are just fine. If it is corroded, you can get some, I think it's M8125 bolts to go in there and jack this off. But. So under the hood, when you're putting it in, putting in the new brake pads, you might have to take some of the brake fluid out depending on how low your level is, because it's going to push some back up the reservoir. Okay, we got to get the spring off. See this little spring? It's got to turn 90 degrees, so just grab it and twist it almost there. Maybe put your finger in back. There you go. Pull it off. And you got the spring, then another one of these guys in the back, and take it out. Go over to this side, do the same thing. Putting your finger in the back where this other little guy goes is the best idea. Keep it from spinning. Take this off, and this one. And if you wanted to see what we're doing at the other end, you just put your finger on there and hold it. The spring on the bottom that we take off. There you go. Okay, now we have to take this spring off here. And uh, there's no real easy way to do it, but I, I'm gonna try it with uh, the vice grips here. Oh, there you go. Okay. All right. Parking brake cable, you kind of push out and rotate, and then it comes right out like a bicycle cable, look, like that. Then we gotta get this guy out of here. There we go. And then, you got enough room in there. Here we go. Just pull it out. Make sure that it doesn't spring across the room and go somewhere where you don't know where it is. We'll take this and go to the new one. Put it on there. And get a needle nose pliers. There we go. Clank, there you go. Just screw this in uh, so that because you have more brake pad on there so that it goes behind the uh, drum. Yep, and then will that auto adjust eventually? I think so. Yes, sir. Here we go. There you go, so that just loops in there from the side. And now, we're going to put this guy back in. So this goes in the hole in the back. And we put this guy in. See, it's uh, got a flat side and a protruding upside, so the protruding upside goes in so you can see. There we go. Just push it in and turn it like that. I think uh, we're going to put in this spring down here, right? Yep. Got to make sure that the, uh, the parking brake line is above this little guy here and in this notch. There we go. So one more frickin' spring to go. This is the hard one. Yep. We need this fork, yes. And this guy goes in the back, the long end. You want to make sure that these things kind of stay in the middle here. Right. Yeah. And 
and then we gotta grab this and put it over there we go all right so that that was a lot of work so it was vice grip to pull the spring into there and we also pressed a little bit to to push this in to push a little bit of brake fluid back up the line there's this little rubber piece in here got to take it off of the old one and put it in the new one what that does is it allows you to uh, adjust that little wheel in or out if you need to for the parking brake. You could you could also have the old rotor turned and resurfaced if you want. We just opted to go with new ones since we don't ever want to do this again. A little rubber piece. We just put it in right here. So the, the rubber hole is in line with the hole on the on there. Oh, it's beautiful. Yay, and that's it. That's now it. Now put on the wheels. Check your brake fluid level, see if it overflowed, add some if you need to, cap it up. And then to set the parking brake, you want to move it, roll it backwards and hit the brake a few times. Like that, and that will set your parking brake to the right level automatically.